<laughs> As Halloween approaches, we're always looking for something that's not candy related to serve the kids. Now, meatloaf is an American classic, so what if we made some meatloaf mummies? They're really quite easy to prepare. And it all begins with a classic meatloaf recipe. Now we're gonna begin in the bowl with a meatloaf mix you buy at the supermarket. That's a great supermarket shortcut. To that we're going to add some breadcrumbs, one whole egg, some salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, some Italian seasoning, then some chopped parsley. And this onion is not chopped, but grated on your cheese grater. So take some time to grate that. And then finally some whole milk to help absorb the breadcrumbs. Now, I always say the best tool in your kitchen is attached to your wrist. Use your hands for this. Now, you don't want to overwork the meatloaf mix because I can make the meatloaf mummies tough and chewy. So we're just gonna work this with our hands until it pulls together and the liquid absorbs all the breadcrumbs and then we'll start forming our mummies. Then you're going to take portions of your meatloaf and we're gonna form the mummies. Now, you're gonna form these into about six inches long, kind of ovals. They're gonna look like footballs when you're done. All right. And we'll get these onto a sheet pan covered in parchment paper. And I haven't overworked the meat, so it should stay nice and tender as it bakes. And if you don't have quite enough meatloaf to match the size of the other ones, it can be a baby meatloaf, a baby mummy. <laughs> So now these mummies go into a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. So the meatloaves are out of the oven, we've let them cool, and we sliced little olives with the pimentos inside to create the eyeballs. Let me just do the last one here. And that will create the eyes for the mummy. Now we've gotta wrap the mummy up, right? So we took crescent dough sheets. I've already started cutting some strips here, no more than about a quarter inch wide. Utilize your pizza cutter. Now, this is super easy and there's no rhyme or reason to this. You really can't do this wrong. So let the kids get involved with this and this could be a fun dinner for Halloween night before trick or treat. So what we're gonna do is take this and kind of form the area over his eyes. Now, if it drapes a little bit over the eyeballs, that's okay. Because the, uh, the mummies are always kind of peeking out, right? I'll start over here on this one. Go ahead and loop it over. Bring it up, if it comes down the side, that's okay. Again, no rhyme or reason to this. You can't do this wrong. Now I'm gonna keep working here, but once we're done wrapping all the mummies, we're gonna pop these back into that 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. So after another 15 to 20 minutes in that 375 oven, our meatloaf mummies are done. Now let these sit out for a few minutes because you wanna let them reabsorb all those great juices and then serve them with a very easy dipping sauce. Now this is only three ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry and the fridge. This is ketchup, Worcestershire, and honey. So when you're looking for a great meal that is both spooky and family friendly, try my meatloaf mummies. <laughs>